Hi, I'm Adam, and this is uh, a demonstration of a uh, 2201 Psyonix laser head and power supply. And I just finished uh, building this uh, controller for the laser power supply, and today I'm going to show you how the whole system works. <clears throat> if you come over here, I'll demonstrate it. This right here is the power supply for the unit. I'll go ahead and switch it on. From here, the fan will turn on and it will also start heating the cathode on the uh, argon laser tube. It takes uh, a couple seconds for the uh, filament to reach proper tem temperature and the power supply to accept it. And uh, from there, the laser will then fire. Uh, this right now uh, is in standby mode, as labeled here on this controller. I'm going to go ahead and switch it to normal and in a few seconds, the laser will then fire. Uh, first, I'm going to turn the output power down a little bit here, and uh, we'll go ahead and turn it on. And as soon as this meter comes up uh, past 3 amps, the laser will then fire. I have to give it a second here. There it goes. Now take a look at the wall. And uh, let's see what kind of output power that's making. I wired this panel so that if I plug a multimeter into it here, it will show the output in milliwatts, uh, 0.3 or, or 0.1 uh, volts equals 1 milliwatt. So this would be putting out 2.9 milliwatts at this particular point. Uh, this high-low switch, ignore that. Uh, low is current mode, high is light mode. Right now it's in current mode. And this potentiometer right here adjusts the laser in current mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this current up now. And as you see, the current starting to move up. We're now at six amperes. And if you look over here, uh, it's putting out 9.6 milliwatts. And if you look at the wall, the beam is now a little bit bright. Okay. Now we go back over here, and uh, we'll go ahead and turn the laser up to now nine amperes. And uh, if you look over here, it's making now 25 milliwatts. And uh, you can look at the wall too there. Seems uh, obviously a little brighter. All right, now from here, we'll go ahead and see what this laser really can do. We'll go ahead and take it all the way to 12 amps. And there's 12 amps right now. We're at 41 milliwatts now out of the laser. And uh, if we go over here, we shut the lights off and you can see the actual output from the laser. And, uh, that's a little tiny argon right there putting out uh, 40 milliwatts. That's a single line though, that's uh, 488 nanometers polarized. Go ahead and turn the lights back on now. And uh, let me show you another feature of this laser. We'll go ahead and turn the current down now a little bit. Bring it to about 7 amps. And from here we can switch the laser into light mode. There it is in light mode. Uh, it's currently putting out 13 milliwatts. And from here, it's controllable by the uh, potentiometer on the power supply itself. So as we turn this up, uh, right now it's maxed out and it's showing 26 milliwatts is what its current output is. Uh, I plan on eventually selling this laser on eBay and uh, uh, be prepared to uh, bid on it if you're interested. That uh, concludes my demonstration. Uh, hopefully you like the laser. I uh, took good care of it and it's in very good condition and it's ready to sell. Thanks. This right here is to show that the uh, output from the uh, power meter inside the head uh, is uh, pretty much right on. Uh, as you can see here on the Scientech meter it shows 10.7 and on here it shows 10.1. 
I'll go ahead and crank up the power and you'll see that they're pretty much right on the side of each other here. We'll go all the way to 20. There's 20.8 on the Scientec 21 and then here we're showing 19.8. So basically right on. Plus or minus a milliwatt. Uh, the uh, sensor heads in both detectors are different. So there's a little bit of compensation value there. Uh, we'll go ahead and crank the power up now all the way to 40 milliwatts. And there's 40 milliwatts right here. We're showing 41 here on the Scientac and uh, through the meter that's going through the head we're showing 39.2.